Over 90% of consumers compare prices before making a purchase decision. Think about what that means for your own readers. They're coming to your site, they're reading a review, you're helping them make a purchase decision, then they're leaving and going somewhere else to make sure they're getting the best deal. Why not include all of that right in one place on your own website? That was really our motivation here at Sovereign for creating our price comparisons and shopping galleries. Once your site is approved, getting up and running is really simple. You can come over here and go to the create section in our menu, and you're gonna see two new options, one for price comparisons and one for shopping galleries. When you go into price comparisons, you'll see that you can create a new shopping comparison. From here, this should be pretty familiar if you've used any of our other tools. Select your website from the top left, the country that you wanna actually build the price comparison for. You can see we have quite an extensive list that's always growing. And then down here, this is where you enter either the keyword, URL, or UPC. Now, UPCs are those product identifiers, those SKU numbers that you often see on packaging. So you can even use that if you want to start a comparison. The way I like to do it personally is with a product URL. So I'll go to a website, even Amazon, and I'll search for a product. In this case, we'll pick a PlayStation 5 console. You can simply grab the URL from there go back and paste it into this box. As soon as you press the search button, our software is gonna perform a search to see if there are any other retailers in our system that sell that exact same product. And in this case, you can see that there's Best Buy, Dell, and Walmart that all carry that PlayStation 5. This is where things get really cool. You can see that there's the logo, the image of the product, and also the price and even the percentage off of retail. All of this is updated throughout the day with near real time stock and pricing information. We actually go out and crawl the web to make sure that you've got the latest information on your website at all times, and you don't have to do anything additional for all of that to work. If you come up here in the upper right hand corner, you've got some additional filters. So if there are certain merchants or brands that don't resonate with your audience, you can filter them out here. Let's say that Walmart was one of those. Click apply and you can see that Walmart is now taken out of the final widget. Then we're gonna take a look at some of the configurations that you have for the styling. So you can select from this default table style which works well on most layouts for most websites. You can also change to buttons. These are dynamically updated buttons that again show the price and the retailer's name and that pricing information updates throughout the day. If you have more of a text layout to your website, we'll just simply show the name of the retailer and the price next to it. This does work on both mobile and desktop. And if you're extra adventurous, you can even create your own template from scratch. This way you can match your own look and feel of your website and all of the colors. You have full CSS editing abilities, so you can make any changes that you want. This next one is hands down one of my favorite features of the product. If you click on geolocate, anytime a reader comes to your website, we look and see what country they're from. Even a website that's based primarily in the United States oftentimes has traffic from other countries places like Canada that we support or the UK. And in those instances, what we do is we actually change the retailers that are listed into their local equivalents. We also show pricing in the local currency just to make your reader experience that much better. Once you have everything configured the way that you want it, click down here at the bottom where it says get code. Now, if you've already got our commerce JavaScript installed, all you need to do is click the copy button and paste this into your website content where you'd like it to show up. If you don't yet have the Sovereign Commerce JavaScript installed, click this button and you'll see that you can simply copy this and paste it right before that closing body tag in the bottom of your web page. So then what about shopping galleries? How do they differ? If you click on the shopping galleries button, you're met with a similar interface. You can create a new shopping gallery, select your website, country, and again, enter in a URL, a keyword, or a UPC product identifier. We'll use that same PlayStation 5 console that we used last time, but here's where things get a little bit different. So instead of being shown a price comparison, what you're shown instead is all of the retailers that sell that product, and you simply add this to your gallery. Now from here, you can go and find a completely different product. So let's say we wanted to do a PlayStation controller. Simply paste in the URL for that product, click search, and again, you're gonna come up with a list of retailers that sell this second product. So what we can do is we can say, okay, 
I want to add the one from Walmart. Now you can see what we're doing is we're building up an actual gallery. Now you can go in here and you can add as many products as you want. Let's add one more just for good measure. And we'll say a Bluetooth headset. And here we have a couple of options. We'll select the one from Walmart as well. That way we've got them all from the same retailer. This makes it a little bit easier if somebody wants to purchase all of the items together. As soon as you click next, you're greeted with the styling options. And this is similar to the price comparisons. You can select the look and feel of this and how it's going to actually interact with your customers on your website. So in my case, I'm going to go with the carousel, but you can also select this table view, which can be nice as well. You can select the number of products, just like you could before. The products per row, so you can actually make multiple rows and columns. And you can enable the carousel. The carousel just gives you this kind of nice slider so people can scroll left and right, which is nice if you have a whole bunch of products and you have limited horizontal space to place them in. Now, I love using these shopping galleries on things like gift guides and roundups. It's a great way to call attention to all the items that you put so much effort into writing reviews about up above in the content, and just sort of having a call to action at the bottom of your article. Now, by using our shopping galleries and price comparisons, oftentimes our customers see a 30 to even 150% increase in their conversion rates. And it makes sense because you're providing all the information a reader needs to make an informed purchase decision. Now, just like with the comparisons, the last step you want to do is click get code. Now, slightly different to the price comparisons, you can create a gallery name. This is so you can come back here and you can edit the products and edit the gallery at any time. In my case, we'll call it PlayStation 5. And just as before, you grab this code and paste it wherever you want these products to display on your web page. If you don't already have the commerce JavaScript, don't forget to get that installed on your site. It's going to make things just that much easier. Click finish. And now you can see on the main shopping galleries page, you have all of the historical shopping galleries that you've created. You can either copy the code for it nice and easily, or you can click on that edit button and go back and make changes at any time. We may not always have support for the merchant or product that you're searching for, but don't hesitate to reach out to our team member and let us know. We're always improving our software, and it's thanks to feedback from customers like you. I'm Brian Lovett, Head of Commerce Product. Thank you so much for choosing Sovereign.